Oh. <laughs> oh, now my mouse is not working. Here we go. Ah, oh, now it's not working at all. Hello everybody, how are you? Let me just mute my screen so I don't have to listen to myself. How are we all? Welcome to day one. The live, first live, second live Facebook. Come on computer. Play, open, here we go. Oh, good. Now it's frozen too. Oh, no, nope, there we go. And we're back. Okay, welcome to the, good morning, Linda, to the first live Facebook of the weekend for the classes. My name is Natalie May and as part of the Great International Craft Show this weekend, run by Clark Craft Alive. We are doing some fantastic Black Friday big brand specials. So we have got, I've got a crooked camera, which is most annoying. There we go. Hello, Susan. Um, I might just zoom up too, hey? There we go. So we have got some fantastic specials. So today on nataliemay.com.au, making that worse, aren't I? There we go. Um, we have got two awesome specials. Oh, God. Hang on. That's better, I think. Um, we have got two awesome specials. We have got... Thursday, we have got 20% off of All and Create products, Minte products, and Paper Artsy products. You can also find 25% off of Natalie May scrapbooking products. And we have a select list of 90% of our products that are branded with Natalie May scrapbooking that you can get at 25% off, which is very, very cool and something that we don't do very, or very often at all. So you're going to find those on nataliemay.com.au and these specials here, the All and Create, the Minte and the Paper Artsy are only available on the special for today only because tomorrow, being Friday, we are going to have a whole brand new range of specials for you. So we're very excited about that. Um, very excited indeed. So tomorrow's going to be sensational. Uh, today, I will be doing a live Facebook at, of course, 10.30 Adelaide time, which is right now. I'll also be back at 1.30 and again at 3.30, just to share some love around and show you some very cool things. But what I would like to do today is have a play with some All and Create stamps. So some of you may have known, I have recently become a guest designer for All and Create, which I'm really, really thrilled about. Uh, guest designer for the next three months, uh, which is wonderful because I get to play with all of their stamps and tell you how amazing they are, which most of you already know. I am super fond of these, this range here. This is D, and D is one heck of a woman. So the D stamps are designed by Janet Klein. They're all hand-drawn images and they are very awesome. And All and Create stamps are 20% off. So we've got a couple here. Let's have a quick flick through. We have got Rocket D. We have got Waitress D. And she's very clever and very witty and has some very, very awesome sayings on her stamps. This is Pageant D. This one is Bobby D. So this, I love this one. Um, it's not a party until the cop shows up. This one is Ballerina D. We've got Cougar D. One man's cougar is another man's grandmother. <laughs> um, vegan D, give peas a chance. Ask me one more time how I get my protein. Powered by avocados. Uh, this is Valentine D. We have got Therapist D. I love how casual she is. She's got that condescending look on her face too, which I kind of love. 
Uh, we've also got Hippie D, Hippie D, um, 50s D, and Hairdresser D, and Workout D. So I am going to be using Hairdresser and Workout D today. I'm going to make a couple of quick and simple and easy tags. Oh, look, the lovely Link Ninja I have today. Naomi's going to be popping a few uh, links in the comments for the products that we're using. Yay, Naomi, thank you. Just going to get my heat tool ready here. Um, so I have pre-stamped somewhere. Oh, where have I put it? I have pre-stamped um, these images here. Here we go. Uh, and I have used, I have stamped in the archival black soot, which is part of a four pack bought out by the lovely Mr. Tim Holtz and Ranger. And this is the black soot. It is black, black, black. You can also use the archival jet black as well, which works really well. But I'm going to be using acrylic paints and watercolors today. So we want to make sure that uh, everything is going to be you know, and my images are going to be colour fast and they're not going to transfer when I add water. So that means I must use an archival ink that is permanent and waterproof. A ink such as Memento will not work. A Tim Holtz ink that is a distress ink is not going to work. And uh, we definitely need to be using an archival ink. So I have two Dina Wakely tags here. These are the large size tags. These are available in a pack of, I believe, a pack of 50. Uh, and what I would like to do is I'm going to use them as my backgrounds and I'm going to actually add these tags to my art journal. Um, I've got some gel medium on hand here and a paintbrush. And I'm going to add some strips of my Doodle Rainbows collage paper, which is conveniently 25% off for this weekend only. All right, so I'm going to add the gel medium. So gel medium works as an adhesive. For this purpose, it is a splendid adhesive. So I'm just going to be working on building a background, making sure that this is stuck down really, really well. So putting it down, then wiping it over the top to seal it. I'm gonna pop some up here. Now it's quite a bold, strong print, this one, and it does go great for a background. And I'll be adding some paint over the top and maybe some stamping. So I'm not gonna add any more than that. And because we are working on a, um, what do we call it? A, sorry, I'm just sorting my computer out here. Because we are working on a white tag, I don't need to gesso prep or anything like that because the white is going to come up through the collage paper. Um, now, the next one I'm using is the Doodle Flowers. Sorry, I should have shown you that one. Doodle Flowers, and you will find that on the website, and it'll be the very first item on the menu as well, because this we have put in at 25% off. So I'm gonna pop that one now. And I'm just going over the top to seal it really well, just to make sure it's all completely stuck down. And then it adds a nice little coat over the top of um, gel medium to seal it. So that is the purpose for doing that. And I'm gonna pop this one here with these little baubles on the side. Oh, bit of a pet hate. I do love things with straighter lines. So I'm focusing on that line there, which is just throwing everything else out, but that's okay. Let's commit. Let's grab one more piece. And I'm going to pop that there and layer that up. Oh, we've got a few little words there. And a little bit of overlap. And that's not going to take very long to dry. So gel medium, I'm using the Dina Wakely gel medium. It is uh, the one that I use quite a few different gel mediums, but this is the one I have on hand at the moment. Um, doodle rainbows, doodle flowers makes an excellent background for our projects. Right, so that I'm just going to hit with the heat gun. 
I've got cords coming out of my ears here. Here we go. To dry that off. And then I'm gonna add some acrylic paint and some stenciling over the top to seal, to add some color and give that a pop. So I hope you are all ready for lots and lots of free classes, little mini classes this weekend right here on Natalie May Scrapbooking on the Facebook page. Um, you can go back and watch these at any time. I will upload them to YouTube a little bit later today, if not tomorrow. Uh, and we are going to, uh, and you'll be able to access, it, access these at any time, which is great. All right, so I'm just going to, actually I was going to cut it, but I'm just going to tear that end off. Tear that end and I'm going to trim these off. Uh, because Paper Artsy is also on special today, as well as All and Create and Minte, we are going to, I'm going to use Paper Artsy paints on my background and to, to build up some colours on my background. I want to uh, just get a nice little, whoops, I might have overcut that, nice little colour combination going. So I've got here... Tangerine Twist and a little Limelight. So my first one is going to be using that. So these are translucent paints, which means that they are slightly translucent. So on the label, it'll show you right here how translucent it is over, over a stamped, in, over a black image. Um, and the difference being, where's another one? Uh, translucent an opaque paint is completely opaque it's going to cover up that black mark and then there's a semi opaque which I don't have any handy of course no I don't have handy all right so this is what I'm going to use for this one and I'm going to use a little bit of paint on my messy mat here. So I know that green and yellow are going to go together. They're not gonna muddy up too much. I'm gonna use a blending tool, a clean blending tool. I have that handy, but I'm gonna start off with a paintbrush and just paint on a little bit of loose color. Smash it on, get it done. So you can see that my collage image is still showing through. So now I'm just adding a little bit of that green and I'm being super loose with it because I'm creating something easy and arty. I'm not going for perfection here. I'm going for fun and bright. Beautiful, so while that's drying, I'm gonna work on the other one. The other color combination I might use is, let's go with, what have I got here? Sorry, I didn't think that through. We've got Southern Skies and... Here we go. Here's a semi-opaque. So it's not totally translucent. Good morning to all of you who have just tuned in. I hope you're all having a wonderful morning. Right, I'm just going to take off that bright green off my brush, rinse it in my water. Uh, using a piece of paper towel, I'm going to take the excess water out of my brush, squeeze it all out so that I'm not watering down my paints. Starting with the lightest colour, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Nice, big, bold, lazy strokes. And then this colour is going to be significantly darker. Do a bit more paint. How are we all this morning? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. The sun's finally out here in Adelaide. Today. I don't know what the rest of the weekend's supposed to be like. But what is it, Lou? Oh, heck, might have, to crack some shorts out. 
Not that I think anybody's ready for that, but conveniently, you don't have to look at my legs from your side of the camera, guys. So yay for that. All right, so there we go. And I'm gonna be adding some stenciling over the top of this as well, so keeping it simple. Right, do that and wipe that off. So my workspace is kind of semi sort of normal. All right, let's grab a stencil. So within the Natalie, Race, Natalie May scrapbooking range of stencils, there's quite a few different ones available. I'm going to add some stars today on both of mine. I really wanna keep it really, really basic. I've got this image coming through the background. That's almost dry. So I'm just wanting to stencil some color over the top. Uh, I don't wanna go too far away from this color here. I want to highlight, but I don't want to mix it all up too much and make it stand out and look weird. So I'm gonna go with some peach nectar and I'm giving them a good shake off, the, off camera here because they have been uh, sitting. And I'm going to use a blending tool. So this is one of the range of blending tools that are uh, uh, with the replaceable foam pads. And these pads are really great because you can wash and use them a couple of times, or as we like to say, they're a consumable item. So you can add, Oh, we'll just grab some more and um, once they get a bit worn and torn, wear, wear and tear, had some wear and tear. Okay. So that is enough on there. And over here, I'm going to have to go for a little bit more depth because we've got a darker background. How about I go with something I wouldn't normally do and let's crack out some purple, maybe. giving it a good shake. Let's have a look at this purple. Oh yeah, that'll work. Why not? Uh, do I want to use this sponge again? No, because orange and purple are going to make a lovely shade of brown. So I'm going to grab a new sponge. Now, if any of you have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of arthritic sort of fingers, these ones here we found have worked much better for um, anyone developing arthritis in their hands. You hold it differently um, and it does work quite well. So these are the, the Nuvo blending tools. This is the Ranger blending tool. And I'm being very loose in adding this on. but that purple was a good colour combination to add onto here because it stands out, but it blends in quite nicely as well at the same time. And that is ample. I'll bring that up to camera in just a second. It's gonna take a little bit of that paint off my stencil. Now, if you are unsure of any of the products that I have used, I will be doing a post when we finished, or when I've finished my live here and I'll pop the links in the comments. And the lovely Naomi, as you can see, is jumping on at the moment and adding the links in the comments. Okay, so I'm gonna pop those aside to dry and I'm gonna work on my stamped images. So one of them, I've, I've stamped a couple of images just in case I messed one up. And I did plan on trying to pre-cut beforehand, but, you know, then I didn't. Uh, all right. So popping that just off camera. And I'm going to use my watercolours. So these are the Natalie May scrapbooking set of watercolours. So these are currently, how much are they, Lou? Help me out. You anywhere near a computer? Sure. Sure. Um, now I'm just going to grab a thinner, I need a different paintbrush, a couple of paintbrushes. I've got some fresh water in front of me and I'm going to have some paper towel handy and my water spray. So when I colour images, these are the things that, I've, you know, you need to have handy. So I like to wet my watercolors first with my water spray because they are watercolors 
We need water to make the magic happen. The brush that I'm using is a round paintbrush. It's a soft paintbrush and it's going to, it's super easy to use. Here is my color swatch. I know exactly what I'm going to be using there. 14.50, there you go guys, 14.50 for a set of low budget, super easy to use watercolors. Um, and they could be great for Christmas gifts or a Kris Kringle, Kringle gift as well. I like to swatch my colors off onto my messy mat and add water and work from there. I very, very rarely take my colors direct from the palette onto my image. All right, because I might mess it up. So I am just gonna start in here. And the other thing I do with watercolors is I don't worry too much about perfection. Okay, watercolors, we, we're, not, we're not professional grown up artists. Well, I'm not, I don't know about you guys, but I like to go with that loose sort of arty look. So I'm just going to paint all the purple things at once that I think should be purple. Um, she can have some purple earrings. Just a drop, just a drop. Clean my brush off. Now, I haven't used a ton of liquid. Okay, just enough on there. It's a lovely purple. But I'm not going to work right next to that. I'm going to go to a different part of the image just in case my image runs. Uh, this one is going to probably sit on, whoops, on one of the, on the yellow tags. So I want to do nice bright colours on top of her. And let's give her some red pants. And we will give her a orange shirt. Are those paints 25% off, are they? That's exciting. Naomi's just commented that they're 25% off as well. So they're in, they're in that category. So you're gonna get yourself a bit of a special bargain today. There we go. And I'm not being super fussy and going right up to the edges because that's okay. We don't need to do that. I'm gonna do her skin last. Um, let's do her hair. So they come down to $9.28. $9.28, are you joking? What a bargain. Okay. All right, bit of brown hair. Mind you, hairdressers very rarely have brown hair, don't they? Okay, and a little bit of color in here. Some highlights. Right. Oh, here we go. We forgot the hairdryer. Hairbrush. And then she can have a couple of little bits in there. Radio. She got an orange tan on. Oh, no, it's no, a she... shirt under her overall <laughs> shadag. All right. <laughs> So there we go, that is D, the hairdresser. I've just colored her. And like I said, I haven't done her face and her eyes yet. I'm going to come back to that. And I'm going to do workout D next. One that's particularly close to my very sore heart at the moment because I've been, I've started back at the gym and it feels like I'm dying. All my muscles are sore, but that's okay. Do a little swatch here. Yep, let's commit to the green. Look at those low hanging boobs. Love that. And let's let's be a bit, a bit arty here and we'll put some blue on as well. And we're gonna blend that up. Oh, that's a bit dodgy. So the way that we fix that is just with a wet paintbrush, I'm just going to lightly fade that. All right. 
and then that's going to hopefully blend in quite nicely. Um, she can have some navy blue Dax on. Sorry, leggings. Leggings are not pants. I do admire that she's got heels on though. That concerns me slightly. Um, oh, she's got a blue headband. And her gym equipment, her little dumbbells here. We've got a really nice grey in this paint set. Um, I'm a big fan of a grey paint. Um, I'm keen for a grey paint. And I'm going to give her some yellow earrings. And she can have some yellow heels on because yellow heels at the gym, you know. Right, perfect. And then we'll, oh, blue. No, what do we want? Hair. Hair. What colour hair has she got? Let's make up a new colour. That's not a new colour. That's more of a new colour. So definitely the key when you're watercolouring is to make sure that you're using water. And I know it sounds obvious, but we all tend to go a little bit light on with the water and forget that we need to get water happening. So there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to pop her aside to dry. Let's bring her up to camera. See that tank, how it's um, a little bit blended there? Beautiful. And I need to think about making up a skin tone. Now I'm going to aim for a Caucasian skin tone. Uh, so I'm going to start with making up a, a puddle of white. Right, and then I'm gonna go with a little orange. And I start to make up a little colour wash there. And then I'm going to add in just a, a freckle. Oh, that's way too much. Okay, so now we've got red. So then we go back to white. A bit more orange. And we're away off and away so I just mix my colors until I find something that's going to work and I have come up with a great little skin tone for a Caucasian skin there and I'll do the same thing and slide that baby out the way slide that out the way And I love how sad she, this woman is, this D. She's just... Oh, and her boobs. Look at her boobs. Hanging low. And now I'm going to add a little bit of pink on her cheeks. Just a little dob. So it's uh, there's no pink in the palette, but white and... Red, make a good mix, and she's got much, very much red. She's got a, she's a lot redder in the cheeks because she's at the gym, and she's working a lot harder. <laughs> and uh, let's sweaty think. Betty. She's a bit sweaty, Betty. That's correct. Now let's have a bit of a think about what we can do with some eyeshadow here, very quickly. Hmm. So I'm just mixing a couple of colours together and making a, a pale purpley blue. And I'm going to keep her eyes, I'm not going to colour her eyes at all. I'm going to keep them the same colour and over here she can have the same colour since I've got that colour mixed up. Spreading it around. 
And I didn't blend her cheeks in very well on this side, but because it's watercolour, I have the power, I have the ability to go in and amend that. This can be a little bit forgiving. Did I miss any bits? All right, let's bring her up there. See how we went? Yeah, so the tank, so Julianne's just commented, I love that you did with the tank top. Look, blending the tank top is super easy to do. It's nothing more than just working in a small area and being prepared. So when you're having wanting to put two colours together, so if I do it again over here, I'll go darker this time. And choosing two colours that are going to work together is going to be really important. Um, and, and having a little area here and something that I can take any excess water off my brush, like I'm doing there, is going to make a big, big, big difference. But preparation is definitely the key. That is the only thing that makes, makes things really work for me, is being prepared and having all of the things in front of me ready to go. Um, and now I'm just going to take that and just blur that really easy edge so that her two-tone tank top now will dry looking really nice. All right. But that's just using watercolours. And like I said, this is like the $9... $9.28. Crikey. That's a bit special. Uh, scissors. I'm going to do some quick, super speedy, fussy cutting here. Uh, while I talk about some of the other amazing things that are happening this weekend. So you will find over the course of the next four days, so up until Sunday, you will catch me every morning at 9am doing a live Facebook. You will catch me on here having a morning coffee, chat, having a little conversation with you and showing you what the special of the day is. Okay, so I will be talking to you about what our, our special is and our no judgment postage. For, so for those of you playing along at home today, the no judgment postage is the special that we run over the course of the weekend. Most of you are very familiar with this as we have been doing our no judgment postage now for about three years when we have a, a weekend like this. The, the really cool thing about it is, is you only pay full toed, food, full toed, toed. <laughs> You pay for postage in full on your first order for $9.95 or express for $14.95. And then what we do is every order that you then add after that one, we just put them all together and you just choose no judgment postage at the checkout and that is going to make your life significantly easier. Um, there is a $1.50 handling fee per order and that goes towards the, uh, for the for the time for the lovely Louise to go through and pack your order, collate your order. And then we have a, a third party check your order off next week. And we will post orders out on Monday and Tuesday. If you are in Adelaide, we invite you to come in and pick up your order on from Wednesday only. Um, your order will not be ready until Wednesday to collect. Um, and that is because we pop all of the orders in the post first. Or if you would like to arrange for a career, we can make that happen for $9.95. Um, I did mention in the video this morning that the Australia Post at the moment are under the pump fighting with the elements that are going on here in Australia with floods and, uh, and, and Christmas. And of course, from here on in, from Black Friday through to Christmas, postage is going to be at an absolute 
um, it's, it's their peak postage. So um, please don't expect your order to be there um, within a couple of days. What is what Australia Post is saying at the moment is that it is taking between 10 and 15 days for regular post. Uh, and for express post, it's three to four days. All right, so um, we do have to remember that they are human as well. So here we go. We have got Hairdresser D nearly cut out. Now what I do in here is I'm just going to be a little tricky and I'm going to cut in there and go right up to that line, cut in there. And I just realised you probably can't see me because my hand's in the wrong spot. So yes, no judgment postage means that you can add to your order over the weekend. So when we do tomorrow's special, which is going to be splendid, and you want all the things at the fantastic discount that's happening for tomorrow, which I'm not going to tell you about today, because that takes the fun out of it. Then you can add to your order. This one's easy to cut out. Uh, so yes, you can do that, which is really, really cool. So Natalie May scrapbooking products. Natalie May scrapbooking products are 25% off. Um, and just a little note as well, if you happen to be in Adelaide and um, you want to pop in for a, a shop, we do ask that you pop in on from Wednesday next week. We have got, um, we will be having your orders all piled up on tables, etc. as we're picking orders, etc. So we're not open to the public this week um, so that we can look after all of your online orders. Gosh, her legs are so skinny. Um, so yes, please um, do that. All right, let's just smash through this. I won't be too long, guys. So how is everybody's day going where you are in the world? Who's watching? Is anybody watching? Anybody watching? Oh yeah, there's a couple. So don't forget as part of the great international craft show with Craft Alive, um, you will get free live classes with me all weekend, which is very exciting. I get to hang out with you guys all weekend. Now, fussy cutting is definitely not my favourite thing to do, but I'm making it happen here. And I could have just stamped her straight onto the tag and coloured in, um, but I think this is going to give a much better effect. Because I'm just going to add a little bit more stamping to my background tag now that that's all dry and that paint's dry, the stenciling that we just added on. And... Then we are done. Oh, this is so tedious. Natalie, didn't think this through, did we? Now, the paper that I am stamping on, so the paper that I have stamped my images on are what I used for the, uh, that I used to make cards with. So they are an A5 pack. You can actually buy them online uh, at the cardstock pack of 10 cards with envelopes at a quite inexpensive price. And that is the card that I use for stamping. Uh, it's a lovely flat 300 GSM card and it's been my go-to for years actually. I do water colouring on it, I do a bit of everything on it. It's a nice intermediate in between sort of, oh goodness me. I'm just going to cut her thumb off. She'll never know. Yeah, great card for stamping. So there we go. We've got our two girls there. Let's bring our tags back. One and two. Um, I'm going to add a little stamping in the back in the words to the background. We've got my blah 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 stamp set. Awesome for you. This is 25% off this weekend. Uh, the stamp covers. Uh, the addition, the stamp storage is an additional extra, also available at 25% off. 
And I'm going to stamp with my black archival ink. Wrong side. You didn't see me do that, did you? And these words are going to give a nice little area for our D to be standing on so that she's not floating. Now, if you had some of my, the Natalie May scrapbooking sweary stamps, they might be a good combination to go with these, I suspect. Oh, I like that. And if I had thought about this a bit more, I would have put a nice die cut there, but I don't have one handy. So let's go in here. And I like this because these ones, the blah, blah, blah stamp set says really cool things like, uh, um, hell no, not today, blah, 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 blah. What's, what the app? What the actual? Uh, seriously, are you freaking kidding? Oh, that one's crooked. That's okay. And I'm going to also add the, this is the Won't Let You Down stamp. This would easily be one of my most, this was the very first stamp that I designed because I love a simple text word. Very important for building backgrounds. Perfect. And you'll notice I'm not using a block. Of course, I don't want to use a block because a block is going to make it look absolutely perfect. And so far, nothing about this project is perfect. So I am after a loose stamp creative background. Okay, so that's the won't let you down stamp. Uh, the Natalie May scrapbooking won't let you down stamp. Okay, there we go. Um, random black pen. Just creating a black frame around my tags. I've got black stamping, I've got black collage paper, I've got black images, so I need to create a lovely black frame. And I'm perfectly okay with this being a, a loose, a loose black frame. Loose and scribbly. All right, let's have a look. So my girls are looking great. I have got D, workout D, and hairdresser D here. Have I got them in shot? Yes, I have. I did zoom up a little. Uh, and I think that they are really, really cute. Um, I don't really want to put that one on there. It's going to get lost. So she's going to go onto there and she's going to go onto there. Uh, I do think, though, that they are both going to get lost. And I didn't really think this through. They really need something to sit on. What can they sit on? They can sit on... I'm just going to cut a circle. Because, do a treadmill. <laughs> do a treadmill. Sure, did you want me to cut out a treadmill, Louise? Let me tell you where you can stick your treadmill, babe. An exercise bike? An exercise bike? No, I'm not going to cut out an exercise bike. I'm going to cut out a couple of quick circles. <sighs> She's such a comedian. Don't know where you can get good staff these days, do you? Now, if I had some dies, so if I had a um, a circle die, 
or a square die, I would place her, place our girls, I'd cut out something, die cut something out and pop it onto our project so that they don't get lost. But I'm going with plan B, which is good old circles. So I'm gonna sit that there, sit that there. Ho, 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 there we go. And our hairdresser, our cheeky little hairdresser, she's gonna sit here and here. And then we can stamp our sentiment on here. So we can choose a, let's go with, what have we got here? Bangs of the moustaches of the foreheads. Chop it like it's hot. Silently judging your hair. Let's use that one. <laughs> what is... So Naomi's a little concerned as well, Louise, that um, I can't draw a treadmill freehand. <laughs> Naomi, I've got some fond words for you right now, <laughs> doll, and none of them are suitable for camera. So in saying that, here, I am silently judging your hair, babes. Uh, so that is for the hairdresser one. So keeping it simple. And then for the for the gym, the workout D, we have got here, if only my sass burned calories, let it burn, gym and tonic, this is my resting gym face. I'm going to use that one because funny story, yesterday I was at the gym after work. And my lovely personal trainer, my friend of many, many years, I use the friend word friend loosely because he says to me, said numerous things actually, which made me giggle, but he did say, oh, Natalie, you look tired. Are you all right? And I'm like, no, mate, this is my fresh face. So yes, had that conversation yesterday. Love that. Uh, okay, stamped, stamp block. Done. Glue. Let's finish this up quick and easy because you guys have got better things to do today like shopping on nataliemayscrapbooking.com.au. Sorry, nataliemay.com.au. Where do I get the scrapbooking from? Uh, and you want to take advantage of 25% off of Natalie May scrapbooking products and 20% off of All and Create, 20% off of Minte for today and what's the other one? 20% off of Paper Artsy. So you need to jump online and make the most of that. So this white circle is going to break up the color in the tag, in the background. Um, that's a very, very loose circle. And because I, I have to outline it, because I have outlined everything else. Whoops. So I need to ensure that I outline this as well. Um, and I'm not too fussed that it is super loose. And I will cut off that bit there. Girls, I can hear you. Um, so we have got that one there. I didn't make those lines match. Right, let's go in here with a little foam tape. So I say little foam tape, but I'm using the big ultra new roll. Um, if you want some excellent value for money, get your hands on this baby. Look at this. So that is a really good way of um, purchasing something that is going to last if you go through foam tape like I do. Um, and, <laughs> and Julie's just commented, being at the gym full stop would be a hilarious thing for you. I don't think so, Julie. I think you would be amazing at the gym. All right, I'm going to pop her there. 
and then I'm going to pop that there and that there. Bit of tape under there and just a little bit more. I do like lifting them up so that they have that extra little bit of height. All right, so how are we going for time? We are at eight minutes. Eight minutes. Splendid. I put myself on a time limit today. There you go. Naomi, my little link ninja, has linked the Ultra New Roll. Um, the very, very good value for money, and it is super sticky. Oh, look, she hasn't... That doesn't join up either. Quality and quantity. Quality and quantity. Correct. She's going to go here. Okay. There we go. The last thing I'm going to do to my two girls here on their little tags is I'm going to add some white splatter. So with my white gesso, which is actually gone green because I didn't clean my brush properly, but you know, you get the point. I'm going to make up a wash. So I'm just adding some water and making a nice little gesso puddle. And then I'm just going to add some white splatters. And white gives dimension, so black gives depth, which is what we added with our stamping. And then the white is giving a really lovely amount of dimension with it as well. And it has totally changed how it how it looks. It drops of sweat on her here, actually. There you go. So there you go. I love them. If I'd gone with a smaller tag, may have worked better, but that's what we've got. Um, so we have got the, we have used the Dina Wakely large tags, which I do believe come in a pack of 50. We have used Paper Artsy paints for our background. We have used the Natalie May scrapbooking collage papers in the Doodle Rainbows and the Doodle Flowers, which are 25% off this weekend. We have added a little stamping to our background as well using the Natalie May scrapbooking stamps. Uh, the stamps here and here are from Paper Art. No, they're not. They're from All and Create. And I have used Hairdresser D and Workout D. And there is a huge range of All and Create stamps. And like I showed you earlier, here are some of the excellent ones from the D collection. Um, we've stamped with archival ink because we want that permanency. We have stenciled with a Natalie May scrapbooking stencil and used the extremely inexpensive but pretty damn good quality quality watercolours um, from Natalie May scrapbooking, which are on special for just over $9. Um, excellent little stocking filler for Christmas. So there you go. So thank you very much to everybody for tuning in today. Um, I appreciate your time. I'm going to take some photos of these, upload this to the internet and uh, we'll link up the products that we have used. Uh, and I will look forward to seeing you all back here again at 1.30 this afternoon for another live Facebook. And that's 1.30 Adelaide time. Look forward to chatting soon, guys. Bye.